Yeah, we're we're live. Yep. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's what we're doing. Uh, we're going live on Monday mornings. If anyone's watching, oh, yeah, okay, okay, guys, uh, this is what we're doing. Uh, if anyone's watching, we are going live uh, every Monday morning from now on, um, giving you uh, your Star Tune updates, talking to the creators. Uh, I feel this is the best way to get this stuff out to you on a regular basis. Um, so if anyone's paying attention, this is what we're doing on Mondays. I've got my coffee, I've got my notes, and uh, if you do have questions or comments or any of that kind of stuff, you can put it up here and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, so uh, we're back after a bit of a hiatus. Uh, Startune 2 is live, the new site is up. Um, we've made some changes, and I think it's important that we talk a little bit about those changes for you guys this year. If you have questions, again, please ask them. Um, and if you've been to the site, you've seen it already. We've got a holding page up there and a tab for creators to go and check out a new stripped-down, lean, mean creators page. Uh, so the big change this year is we split the show down the middle. We're, um, last year, we didn't have much of a kid audience, and that's something we're trying to fix because it's really important to us that we get kids watching your cartoons. And we get kids voting on your cartoons, and we get kids sharing their ideas about what makes a good cartoon. So um, we are making an entertaining kids show with an emphasis on a talent show, which is what this thing is in its uh, in in its at its core. Um, and that's all kid friendly and kid oriented, and uh, and we've got a lot of things to share and show with you. I think there may have been you might have seen our little um, a quick tease about Francisco last week. Uh, we got a puppet coming today, so we'll share more with you guys about that uh, later. Um, but what that means over on this side, on the creator side, um, is that we get to do content that is aimed directly at you. So the stuff that, uh, let's say, uh, little me would have loved to have seen when I was uh, just starting out in my career, uh, that's what we're doing. So um, we're starting out right now. If you go to the site, we already have our, uh, our, our character development tutorials. They're up. They are really important for the stage of the of the uh, of the challenge of the competition because now is when you guys have to be thinking about your characters and getting them ready to send in. So we've taken uh, last year's tutorials, little update. Um, Jesse Cleverly, the creative director at Wild Seed, the guy who came up with Startoon, um, has made himself available again to go really in depth into what you should be thinking about uh, in terms of your characters. There is an update video there that went up last week as well. Uh, these will be going out every Wednesday. Okay. Um, so Monday mornings, coffee with me updates. Every Wednesday will be our larger format videos. Uh, right now we're emphasizing the tutorials. So the character stuff is up there. This week we have a software tutorial, uh, much better than the one I did last year. Um, we brought Chris Forney into the studio to talk about various softwares and go a little more in depth as to what's good and what's great about some of them. Um, so that'll be coming out this Wednesday coming up. Watch for that. We have an audio one coming up as well, but then we start to get into stuff that's a little, a little different. Um, basically, we're doing a video podcast this year. Uh, it's really, really cool. I'm actually really excited about it. Um, so we will be just for example, um, we've been hitting the road. We are filming our outreach stuff, so when we go into a talk. We just got back from Ottawa, where we had uh, Joel McKenzie, one of our guys from last year, who did Tough Palm, and Matt Haynes, also one of our guys from last year, who did the Angry Little Cupcake. They joined me on stage at uh, Saw Gallery. And we watched some cartoons and talked to some people and talked about their experience in this. And we got into, uh, we took a lot of questions and got really in depth into a few topics, which I think you guys will find really valuable. Uh, but as well, we were doing some round table interviews. Um, I'm going to tell you guys right now, the, if any of you have ever seen, uh, the, my favorite talk show of all time, John Favreau's Dinner for Five it used to be on IFC. Um, I'll plug the hell out of that because it was really amazing. John Favreau would sit down with like four other people. Um, Hollywood people, uh, writers, producers, directors, actors, uh, Burt Reynolds, and they talk about everything under the sun related to movie making. Um, what we're doing is kind of like the really low budget crappy version of that about cartoons. So uh, we have two of them that we've already shot. Uh, one here in, Auto in Toronto with uh, Brett Jubinville from Tin Man Creative Studios, um, who created Super Science Friends. Uh, an amazing uh, writer and show creator, Steph Callender. And uh, Brandon Lane from Teletoon, who also in and of the, who is also a creator, a writer, a director. Um, we basically sat down in the back room at a bar here in town and just talked for two and a half hours. We tried to focus a little more on character development because that was kind of the part that we're supposed to be touching on, but it just kind of took off. 
Um, we're going to edit that down as little as possible and share it directly with you guys on Wednesdays. So you have a brand new uh, animation podcast basically coming at you that you can watch while you're working on your stuff uh, every week. Um, I'll tease as well that we just shot one in Ottawa with uh, Mike Geiger, who should need no introduction. Uh, and Phil, I'm going to apologize right away. I'm going to get your name wrong, your last name wrong. Uh, Phil Ivanusic, uh, who created uh, League of Super Evil and a bunch of other stuff, works with Mike, uh, an amazing writer who started out as an animator. And, uh, and, and old friend and really amazing talent, Dave Cooper, who's got two shows right now because one's not enough. Um, with Nickelodeon, Pig, Goat, Banana, Cricket. And here in Canada, the Bagel and Becky show. So we did a little roundtable with them while we were in, we were in Ottawa, and we're going to do a, a quick pass on that and share that with you guys. We'll also be throwing up little little clips in that over the next, uh, uh, you know, as we lead up to each of those things. So um, that's a lot of what we're doing for the next little while. Of course, right now is the submission period, and we need you guys getting your stuff. Here. Last year we had 93. Um, we've got bets up on the wall as to how many we're going to get this year. Um, I'm going to start calling people out again like I did last year. Brad Kayford, uh, you made me a promise in Ottawa, and I expect you to fulfill it. Um, we're going to tag you in videos and, and all this kind of stuff and, and shame you into sending your stuff in. Um, but yeah, we're back. We've got a, a new crew in the studio. Some, we've added some people to it. Some of the guys are back. Um, I'm really excited. I mean, we had a little bit of a downtime, got, got our rest, and, uh, and got back in the studio. Um, there's some fun stuff coming this year, uh, and I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Um, at some point, I'm hoping that there will actually be people watching this while I'm doing it, and there will actually be people asking questions and talking. Yeah. I th yeah, I see that we got 17 video views kicking up right there. So, all right, I'm going to say, uh, Becky, thank you for watching, because even though you haven't said anything, you're probably out there, because I just, I just was just chatting with you. Um, if Mike Catella, if you guys uh, joined us uh, out in the East Coast, um, thank you for, uh, oh, 20, 20, thank you for joining. Um, oh, new, I have new hats this year. Uh, no more duct tape. I don't know, maybe if you guys want the duct tape back, let me know. Um, but I got some uh, brandless hats to wear so that I don't get in trouble from Major League Baseball teams. Um, I have this. I can share that with you guys right now. Uh, it's going back to Smiley Guy today. Uh, but about two weeks ago, if you probably all heard already because you're all on my Facebook feed. Um, I was lucky enough to be part of the team that won a CSA uh, Canadian Screen Award <laughs> for uh, a little Christmas special uh, we at Smiley Guy did for the CBC called The Curse of Clara. Um, some really amazing people involved in that and uh, got to actually get up on stage and I have it with me right now because I took it to Ottawa to share it with my mom and dad um, while I was there. Uh, this, this isn't mine, it goes back to Smiley Guy, but I'm getting one. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm paying the 350 bucks or whatever it is, so I can have one in my own office, uh, right, right up here somewhere. I'll put up a shelf. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of a nice, uh, a nice little bit of recognition for our, our small, our our little, our charming little story. Um, and if you guys want, I mean, the very, if we you want to talk about the development process on that, just gotta ask, and we can have that as a chat. Uh, so this this Monday morning, this is for us, okay? This is for us to talk. This is for me to give you guys updates on what's going on. Um, and we can do it directly, and and I hope I hope some of you will actually join in um, and and ask those questions because I know there were questions last year, uh, and we're trying to tailor some of our content around answering them. So this is your chance to uh, to actually ask them directly to me. If I can't answer it on the spot, I will make sure that next Monday I've got the answer for you. Uh, we will of course put this also up on YouTube, where we would love it if you would subscribe. Uh, we have a uh, Facebook creators group that we've done this year specifically for this, for our community. Um, people are already sharing stuff on there, so please join up. Um, part of how that split is working this year is we are doing, we've kind of split up the social media as well. Um, our, our Instagram, uh, our, our creators group, uh, the YouTube channel, those are the really creator focused. Our Twitter and the, the larger Facebook page, that's kind of the public facing, so you know, if if moms and dads have questions they want to ask and they want to check us out, that's kind of where they'll go. Um, and the kid facing stuff, they'll have their own YouTube channel um, and their own Instagram. Yeah. Yes. For the kids? Yeah. So there'll be an Instagram for the kids. So that's all going to be. And, and check it out because I swear to God, there's going to be some funny stuff up there. Uh, we gave a, a little preview to our crowd in Ottawa um, of, of the audition video uh, for, uh, for Francisco. And we might share it with you guys here too uh, at some point. 
Um, so yeah, really split, really a new thing. Uh, kids over here, us over here. Um, if you pay close attention, I even swear once once in a while. So we, we hopefully don't draw too much attention to that, but it does happen. Oh. Hey, we've got a question. We have a question. Reese York. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, he says, "Do we need to apply as a team?" Uh, you can apply as a team. So Reese is asking. Uh, Reese, thank you for asking. Uh, Reese is asking uh, about applying as a team, as a group. Um, so yeah, you can apply uh, groups. So the, the way this works, so individuals, studios, groups, whatever works, whatever you guys are working, but you need a point person, okay? Um, so you guys need to figure out amongst yourselves who that's going to be. You need to figure out what your split is yourselves on what your partnership is. Um, but yes, teams can apply. We had it happen last year. Uh, some of them were more that like one person applied and did something and then as the workload got bigger they drafted, they brought in a team. Uh, I mean, uh, what, was it, what was it, um, Stephen, uh, the, the Woolly Brothers, the Woolly Brothers with, uh, with uh, Jack the Rabbit, that was a group of people who did that one. Um, but you need a point person. One person registers and signs up and then you apply through that person, you submit through that person. Uh, so hopefully that answers that question. Um, all right, first question. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Reese. I appreciate it. Um, anything else? What else do we need to talk about? What else can I can I draw drown drone on about while we hope for someone else to ask a question? Graydon, Graydon, are you out there? Becky, come on. We seem to have thirty six people viewing. Mike, Mike Catella, you and your your, your gang out at uh, out at Miramichi. Is it Miramichi? Yeah. Nothing. I don't want to go dead air. I can fill time if you want. What are you looking for in the submission? <laughs> what are we looking for in the submissions? Okay, good question. Um, similar to la nothing's changed in, uh, from last year. Really, the submissions are very straightforward. Okay, it's got to be video. Um, that's very very simple. Now, what you guys put into it is what you're going to get out of it. Um, we did see a lot, of, a few people last year who uh, would just submit uh, a still that they just sort of did a close up on, and maybe a little bit of sound and a good description. That's fine, uh, and really, whatever, however, whatever you can do. But remember, you're still trying to sell this to our selection committee, okay? Um, and we did see that the caliber of some of these submissions were pretty outstanding. Uh, the way it's working, you've got till May 8th right now to get your submission in. So a piece of video, um, we try to push towards one individual anchor character. But as you can see, Sonny and Bentley, last year's winner, Andy Greeling, that was a comedy duo. Uh, and that did very, very, very well. But it's focus on character, okay? That's why those resource videos are there right now. Those are really important, and they're, they're really a, a small investment uh, in time. Check those things out. Um, they are going to explain to you exactly what we're looking for. And if you take that time now, it's going to make all the difference walking into it. So you, design, you have an idea for a character, okay? You draw your character, you think about your character, um, if you're like me, you have an intuitive idea about what that character is, go watch the videos, take some notes, ask yourself the questions that are in there. Where do we find them? Where do we find them? We find them over uh, on the, in the creators section of our uh, website, uh, startoon.ca. And YouTube. And on our YouTube uh, channel. Uh, subscribe. We have a new social media person this year, <laughs> which is great, because I got somebody right there giving me notes and telling me what to say. Amy? This is Amy, everybody. I'm being kind of hard on him. No, 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 it's not hard. It's, you're supposed to do this. <laughs> He's doing such a good job. <laughs> so Amy gives me my notes and doesn't want to say that if I forget stuff. But yes, um, startune.ca, click on the creators tab, go in there, you'll find all the stuff. Go to our YouTube channel, subscribe there. Those videos are all living there right now. Um, but watch them, okay? Uh, watch the meditation. Um, and you will know exactly what you have to do with your idea. So when you send it in, I mean, Tough Palm was a GIF with a really great character description. Um, the more you do, the more we're going to have a chance to, to know what your character is, and the better chance uh, you're going to have of, 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 of communicating that to us. Um, but it's early days. You know, we're not trying to break you, break you on this stuff. Oh, we have another question. Canadian Animation Blog asks, where is the show winner at from last year in terms of production? Good question, Graydon. Um, okay, so Sonny and Bentley, uh, we are going to have a proper update for you guys uh, in the next month or so. Um, we've been talking with Andy regularly. Andy's been working primarily with uh, 
the, our Wild Seed uh, with uh, Jesse Cleverly at Wild Seed and Sam, I'm going to forget her last name, um, who was the showrunner on Counterfeit Cat. Um, so what we did there, and I, this is a good, thing, good opportunity to explain to you guys. So our prize last year was a $25,000 budget to produce a, uh, a pilot, a mini pilot. Um, we are figuring this stuff out as we go, and what we found is that when we got to the end, uh, Andy had pretty much already produced a mini pilot. He had done a ton. Of, his stuff was, was he'd, ma he'd made it already. So we gave him the option. We, we knew that there was already broadcaster interest, and we sat down with Andy, and, and we gave him uh, our input as far as, if you want to make this show, we think right now what it needs is a proper pitch, pitch package. It needs uh, two scripts, um, a, a proper Bible, and a really kick-ass animatic. Um, we can do that with the twenty-five thousand. We can make, we can, and we can sell the show. We confidently feel like it's it, it can go. Um, we also can make another short if you want, um, and it's entirely up to Andy. But the whole process here is to give him as much information as possible so he can make decisions. He opted to go with the development materials, so we have been tearing that thing apart and breaking it down with him right back down to the characters for months now um, and then building it back out. If you go to uh, Andy's own Tumblr, you'll see new little, he's been teasing out little bits of animation he's been doing. The characters have been redesigned. Um, it's been an amazing process to watch. I've been mostly a fly on the wall for that. Um, and Andy has been outstanding. Um, he's, uh, he's taking some time off right now between gigs to focus on it completely. Um, we will have updates coming soon. But the show, it's basically like just pulling it right down to its basic building blocks, figuring out who these characters are, and then building back out again. And it's been, uh, it's, he's been so great to work with on this. And um, the interesting thing for me is to watch how Wild Seed does it with them. Um, they sit down with Andy, and they basically say, like, we are going to give you a ton of notes. A ton of notes. Um, but none are mandatory. Um, he gets to sit right there in the middle, and he knows what his show is. So if, if something comes in that breaks that, he can say no. He can always say no. And that's how you really get uh, what I think is the best path to one of these really, truly creator-driven shows and character-driven shows. And, and I'm watching this get made as we speak. So, um, so it will be a little while before you see something polished and finished. Um, but we will start to tease a few things out. Where, I mean, we'll, I'm going to talk to Andy. We'll share the clips that he's been doing. Um, and we will have a proper update. I'm going out to Vancouver in a couple weeks, I should mention that, uh, and Andy will be joining me. Um, so we're going to do another little, uh, a little talk out there. Anybody in Vancouver wants to come and hang out and talk cartoons and talk StarTune, uh, there'll be some information going up on the, on the Facebook page and elsewhere about, about that, um, and Andy will be joining me. So you won't just have to listen to me talk. Um, but we'll have a proper update from him and from Jesse, the creative director, uh, pretty soon. Um, so that, that hopefully, you, hopefully you'll like what you see there, guys. Um, nothing else popping up? Uh, how long is a mini pilot, Chris Dainty asks. Ah, okay. Um, so that's kind of a, an issue. That's an, there's an internal conversation about that. Because a pilot is a pilot is a pilot, right? Um, we had that kind of conversation. We were referring to this to the thing we were going to make as a mini pilot for a long time. But really, um, anything you make serves to pilot a show. Uh, anything that, like, I mean, if you look at Andy's final challenge, that really is a little pilot right there. Uh, it's about three minutes long. Originally, we thought we'd be aiming for kind of like a five to seven minute uh, short that would run, that would have an episode structure. Um, we are, I believe, looking at doing a full-blown animatic, like proper sound, like a really, you know, full of, for an 11 minute. Um, that way we can really show people what an episode would look like. And, and that's pretty typical of what broadcasters would like to see. If a, when a broadcaster goes through a development process, they want to see a couple scripts. They want to see a really fleshed out Bible. And they want to see uh, a really strong animatic. Sometimes people just do a, a scene. They'll just animate a scene or they'll animate a, or they'll, they'll do an animatic for a five-minute chunk or a three-minute chunk. Um, but really it's about showing, showing what an episode looks like. Um, putting your best foot forward. So we're going to do, um, do an 11-minute animatic. Um, there will probably be some animation tests because he's been doing them as we speak. Uh, I think he just can't stop himself, which is great. Um, and, uh, and that's usually a package that should communicate well enough to a broadcaster um, what the show is. So Mini Pilot is kind of a... Uh, it's a bit of a misnomer. 
um, because a short can be a pilot, uh, the animatic can be a pilot, um, and we kind of figured that as we went along that we were like, okay, well, what what do we mean by this last year? Um, because if if we we were figuring out what the what the challenges were going to look like, so um, we left that open ended so that we could make essentially a little mini version of an episode. Um, and, and what, and that would largely depend on who the creator was, what they're able to bring to the table into their own resources and skills and abilities. So every creator is going to have a different skill set. Um, and we didn't want to limit, we don't want to limit ourselves to what that, because the, because the creator itself themselves is involved in every aspect of production. And they do like in Andy's case, um, with that $25,000 budget, we look at what roles can he play in the production of all of this. So he basically gets paid to do each of those things. Because twenty five grand, although it's it's a good number, it's not a ton of money um, in terms of actually producing something. But I think we're going to get uh, a good chunk done. So we're we're looking forward to that. Another question. Another question. Are you allowed to submit what we submitted last year and try again? Who asked that one? Uh, Alex Scudder Martin. Okay, uh, Alex. Um, we are. This, this question has come up a couple times. Uh, I think it came up on Twitter as well. So you can submit the same character, um, but you shouldn't submit the same materials. Okay? Um, in fact, I think we're saying you cannot submit the same materials. Um, it doesn't serve you well to submit the same materials. But uh, you had a pretty good character. You had some pretty good stuff. Uh, I would love to see it again, but if you're bringing something back new to the, fresh to the table, like again, if we show that you've learned something from the experience, and you're bringing, because because often we don't want to we don't want to tell you as a creator, um, we don't want to tell you the character's not good because it's not that it's 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 what you make with the, with that character, and if you feel that you can bring something new and fresh, and our judges aren't going to go oh, this guy again, um, I mean if it's, it was voted out once before, um, it would behoove you to create new materials for it. Um, so yes, same character can come back. New materials, please. Tyler Morrison asks, is there an actual award ceremony at the end of the contest or is the winner revealed via live stream? Curious because I'm from New Brunswick and if I were to win, would I have to fly out to attend? Uh, you would not have to fly out. So the question there from Tyler was, uh, award, is there an actual awards ceremony at the end? Would I have to attend? I'm from New Brunswick. Um, we do it by live stream. Okay, we do have, um, so what we're trying to do, uh, last year we had a live broadcast of our finale. We will be doing that again uh, from the YouTube space as we did last year. That's the intention. Um, make it a little bit of a show, have a studio audience, all that kind of stuff. We uh, Google Hangout, we use that, and we, uh, we, we live casted our finalists uh, from their various homes uh, last year. We're going to do the same thing this year. So if you are one of those finalists, we'll make sure that you're on camera and on screen and you're there to, you're there to film your reaction. Um, we're doing the same thing with every judging round this year, not necessarily from the, uh, the YouTube space, but we will be doing a, little, uh, a live show. Um, that's part of what we're doing on the kids' side too. We're trying to make that a little more entertaining and really get the kids involved in the, in the, in the talent show side of this. Um, so we're hoping to put on a little bit more of a, uh, little more of a, a little more of a show, a little more of an entertainment show around that. But, uh, but no, you don't have to fly in. We will make sure that your smiling face is on screen for all to see. Okay, Tyler, I hope that, that, that satisfies you. And that's a new name for me. I'd love to see what you got. Oh, more questions. This is exciting. Okay, okay, another one. Uh, Joel McKenzie, just to Ah, me. Joel! Um, are you still doing the clap to vote method or are you doing a different voting method? Bot free? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Joel asks a very good question. Um, He's asking about our, uh, our, our click to clap voting function. Um, we are doing it again. Uh, we are aiming it, we're trying to aim it at the kids. Last, so we had this click to clap function um, where on your video page, people can press this button an infinite number of times to rack up votes for that wildcard spot. Now we've made some changes because we did have a few grumps out there who, uh, who felt that perhaps there were some bots being employed by some of our, uh, our challengers. Um, we did our best with, the, uh, with what we could do last year to avoid the bot situation. We are, trying, we are building in a few, new, uh, uh, a few new elements to protect against bots. 
Um, and we are aiming that far more firmly at a kid audience. Now, you guys yourselves, you can still sit there and click. Because we did have people who were legitimately, like their whole family is just clicking on that thing and voting and on that thing. And, and, that's, and that's amazing. Um, we realize that there is a very chaotic aspect to that voting function, but we love it. We want the chaos. We want things to be a little messy. Um, we knew going in that there would be some of that, and we're doing what we can to protect against bots. We're doing more this year than we did last year. Um, so we're, we're, we're fairly confident. And, in, and, and I think we know which ones maybe last year that had the bots. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of easy to spot, but it's hard, it's hard to prove. Um, but I said, like I said, we've got some new protections going in this year, so it'll be tougher for people to do that. But, um, but we like that chaos. So Joel, um, yes, we are clicking to clap. Yes, it'll be chaotic. Yes, it is infinite voting. Um, hopefully, there are more kids doing it. Um, and hopefully, some of what we... Sorry about that. That's up, sorry. Uh, and hopefully, some of what our, our, our web guys can do will limit the number of bots that actually can take part. And uh, But we had a couple of really great, great stories last year about people who, like, grandma was voting till she fell asleep, and mom was voting till like, her ears bled, um, which I don't encourage. I don't encourage at all. But, uh, but yes, Joel, more chaos, more voting, more of the same, with just maybe, uh, maybe a, little more, uh, a little more protection built in. How are we doing? Anything else? That's it. I think we can wrap it up. Okay. Um, so like, I'm going to... comment, and subscribe. Yes. So we're going to wrap this up right now. This is our Monday morning coffee. You guys can find me here again next week. Um, so I'm going to ask, uh, subscribe on YouTube, okay? We're going to put this back up there. If there are any questions that you want to go back and find out what I said again, go over there. It'll be up. Subscribe on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, follow, and share, guys, okay? I know you got someone sitting next to you who's got a great idea at the studio where you work. Um, you saw what we did last year, okay? And we're doing it again. Uh, Andy's making a show. Um, I can also announce that Joel, who just gave me a hard time with the voting, um, we're, also going, we're also going to be developing Tough Palm. So uh, that's another one from last year. It wasn't even a finalist that we're going we're gonna to pitch as a show to. So this, this works. Um, and I'm going to hang my big fat face out here every week talking to you until you submit. Right? And I'm going to start calling out names. Uh, so again, subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. Uh, and I'll see you guys next week. Shut her down. <laughs>